Today, the survival of the current life on Earth depends largely on the harmonious mix of human-made and natural environment. Understanding and eventually safeguarding our natural environment is the responsibility of each and every human. Yes, you and I too. So let's begin to learn a little more about the natural environment, its living organisms, its non-living elements and the relation between them. Well, all the living organisms which includes plants, trees, animals, birds, insects or us humans are called the biotic components. Whereas all the non-living elements that is air, water, soil, sunlight or even weather can be termed as abiotic components. The survival of biotic components depends on their interaction with other biotic or abiotic components. A jungle surrounded by trees and plants all around and wildlife roaming in the open space. A flower grows with the help of the nutrients and water found in the soil and gases like carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. It blossoms when the sunlight shines and gives the energy to perform photosynthesis. In order to survive, the deer eats the flowers and plants to consume the energy and nutrients which are stored inside them. The deer lives a long and happy life. However, over the years, the deer starts to slow down due to old age and dies. Wait a minute. What do we see here? The deer's body is rotting and decomposing. Hmm. The microorganisms found in the soil decompose the deer's body and absorb all the nutrients and energy it has. In this cycle, the deer eats the flower to consume the nutrients to live. Similarly, we see that a flower is born again by consuming the nutrients from the dead deer. Do you think that the flower or the deer could survive without each other? Certainly not. Both the flower and the deer are the biotic components of nature. The interaction between these two biotic components helps them to survive. In the same case, we saw that the flower had the help of carbon dioxide, water and the sunlight so that it could grow and blossom. Without this interaction between the flower with carbon dioxide, water and sunlight, do you think the flower would grow and blossom? Not at all. Here, the flower, which is a biotic component, interacts with the abiotic component to grow. These interactions between various biotic components or biotic components with abiotic components create an ecosystem. This type of ecosystem that we find on land is called the terrestrial ecosystem. Similarly, we can find ecosystems underwater as well. The environment here is however different from the last one. But we can find similar interactions between various components of nature. We see a variety of underwater plants and fishes in ponds, rivers, oceans or seas. The plants contain nutrients which they make with the help of water and sunlight underwater. The fish 
eat the plants to gain energy for their survival. When they die, the fish become the food for the bacteria. This kind of ecosystem that we see underwater is called the aquatic ecosystem. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.